In the last lecture, we learned what is an object and how to create properties on an object. We learned that an object is basically a collection of key value pair. A key can be any identifier. It is like a variable name. And to that key, we can assign a value of any type. Let's understand this with an example. So let's go to VS Code. Here, we are creating this user object. And this user object is basically a collection of key value pair. A key can be any identifier. So it is just like a variable name. And to that key, we can assign a value of any type. So for example, to this name key, we are assigning a string value. To this year of birth key, we are assigning a number value. And to this is married, we are assigning a Boolean value. So to a key, we can assign a value of any type. And we have learned that in JavaScript, a function is also a value. So to a key, we can also assign a function. And when we assign a function to a key, that key is called as a method. So in this lecture, we are going to learn what is a method in an object and how to create and use a method. So what I'm going to do is in this object, I'm going to add another key and I'll call this key calculate age. Okay, so this is key. And to this key, I'm going to assign a function. And to assign a function, here we are going to assign an anonymous function to this calculate age. So for that, we use function keyword followed by a set of parentheses and then a set of curly braces where we will write the body of the function. So here we are creating a function using the function keyword and we are assigning it to this calculate age. Now here in an object, we don't use equal to sign for assignment. Instead, we use a colon and after that we specify the value which we want to assign to the variable in this case to the key to the property so for example to this name property we wanted to assign value john so here we did not use equal to sign instead we used colon in the same way to this calculate age when we want to assign a function instead of using equal to we are using a colon okay so to this calculate age we are assigning a function and since this calculate age property it is storing a function this calculate age property here it is called as method when the property stores a primitive value like a string value boolean value number null undefined etc in that case it is called as a property but if that property stores a function that property is called as method okay now let's go ahead let's write the logic for this function so let's say this function it is going to take the year of birth okay so it is going to take this year of birth parameter and based on that year of birth we are going to calculate the age so what we are simply going to do is from the current year so current year is 2024 we are going to subtract the birth year which we are going to receive in this year of birth parameter okay and whatever will be the result we will simply return from here so here we have created a simple method this method it is going to take the birth year and based on that it is going to calculate the age now let's say i want to call this method i want to execute this method how we will do that so in order to access the property of an object we use object name which in this case is user we use dot notation or square bracket notation so for example if we use dot notation we say dot and then we specify the property name which we want to access for example let's say if i want to access the name property i'll say user dot name i can go ahead and i can assign it to a variable something like this okay so here i'm accessing the name property and i'm assigning its value to a variable in the same way if we want to access the method of an object we still have to use the object name which in this case is user dot and then we can access its method in this case this calculate age is its method and if you want to call that method after that method name we use a set of parentheses okay now this calculate age method it is expecting a value for this year of birth parameter so here let's pass 1989 okay now when this method will be called it is going to return us a value right this method here it will return us the value 
and let's go ahead and let's store that value in a variable and let's call it age okay now let's go ahead and let's log the value of age if we save the changes you see age is 35 so from 2024 this 1989 will be subtracted and whatever will be the result that will be returned by this calculate age method we are storing that returned value in this age variable and here we are logging it so it is logging 35 so in this way we can access a method of an object and to call it we use a set of parentheses and if that method is expecting a value for any parameter we can pass it inside that parenthesis now here to this calculate age method we are passing the year of birth but if you notice this user object already has this year of birth so instead of passing it from outside what we want is inside this function we want to use this year of birth property so here i'm not going to pass any year of birth parameter instead i want to use this year of birth property so if i try to access it like this and if i save the changes you see we have an error and it says year of birth is not defined but we can clearly see that this user object has this year of birth property then why we are getting this error that's because this year of birth it is not a simple variable it is a property of an object right so to access the property of an object we need to use the object name which in this case is user dot and then the property name so we want to access the year of birth of this user object so we will say user dot year of birth and now if we save the changes we are getting the result but instead of saying user dot year of birth here we can use this keyword okay and for now just understand that this keyword points to the current object we are calling this calculate age method on this user object right so inside this calculate age function this keyword here it is pointing to this user object so instead of saying user dot year of birth we can say this dot year of birth and we will talk about this keyword in great detail in the future lecture of this course for now just understand that this keyword points to the current object on which we are calling the method in this case we are calling this calculate age method on this user object so this keyword here it is pointing to this user object this keyword here it is basically equal to this user object okay so now if i save the changes we should still have the same result but now we are using the year of birth property of this user object itself we are not passing any year of birth property to this method from outside while calling it and actually let me remove this 1989 from here because now we don't need to pass that to this function now it is not expecting any parameter okay so if i save the changes we should have the same result so this was about the method of an object so now we know what is an object what is the property of an object and what is a method of an object now we are going to use objects a lot throughout this course because as i said javascript is an object oriented programming language so it uses objects a lot and that's why understanding objects is very important and we will learn more concepts about object as we move along with this course for now whatever concepts we have learned about object like creating the object creating properties methods accessing the property and method of an object etc that should be enough for now if you have any questions related to objects object properties or methods then feel free to ask it this is all from this lecture thank you for listening and have a great day